Hey guys, welcome to our sometimes Thursday shop tour. Sometimes it's at nine, sometimes it's at noon. Um, we are super excited to be here today. We pulled everything together that is restocked in the shop or the new painted items. And we do have one new item that we have marked down for sale. So we're super excited to be here. And Zeb's just gonna get started talking about the painted items. This, this week, we, like last week we had so much and well, this week and we sold so much. So. It took us forever to paint it. A lot of last week's was like, I really need to see that before I buy it, like see what it's gonna look like situation. Um, so a couple of the yellow candlesticks that Jamie did the color mix on, and then we whitewashed them and they've got some uh, vintage mint underneath. Uh, this was a mismatch set and we kind of made a matching by the, doing the same coloration. This one's metal, this one's, this resin? one's actually wood. No, it's not resin, it's wood. We had the big large ones, if you guys recall, that set actually sold, which I'm surprised because that was the more expensive set. Um, but people are really loving that soft yellow color we made with the queen bee and um, the, was it queen bee and white linen? Yes. Uh, okay. So this set is $39.95. It's still available. We have, I think, painted items. We only have like one, two, three, four, five things. I love the little mint. Six things too. if you count Waste Not Wednesday out of probably 50 that we painted. So yeah, it's good. you guys are scooping it up off the website quick. We appreciate that so, so much. We got everybody shipping back there. All right, All right. so this has the printables. This is, this is two of the channel membership printables that we have for our group, but I wanted to just use them in this frame. This was uh, thrifted and it was gold before, but we painted it up and it is... It was like a different gold and we wound up painting like it and gold. gold wax. This is $26.95. If you wanted to, this is just scotch taped on the back. This here, you most likely, if you're careful, could get that off if you wanted to replace that because this is a separate, uh, kind of almost like a mat. Um, and then you could put any picture you wanted in yeah, there. Zeb, you, you used an X-Acto knife, right? Yep. So if you guys are in channel membership or the paid JRV subscriber group, this is the printables for March, yes? Yes, March printables. So we wanted to show you guys how to do them, but we also are selling that frame for twenty six ninety five. dollars um, Next up, probably the ugliest clock in the history of clocks. It was painted a like slimy it's green color. It's not ugly color, anymore. But it's got a new look. So we painted this up. Um, this was actually Zeb's find, but somehow I wound up taking over. I did like half of it, and then Jamie's like, I'm gonna finish that. No, I did all of it. What did you do? You took it apart. I took it apart, and I had it painted uh, sandy painted. blonde. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. And, and then, then I took it over and had my own vision. He's like, that's not where I was going with it, but that's good. <laughs> <laughs> well, that works. Uh, um, this is uh, forty two ninety five. this one. It's got skeleton key, cottage color, black wax, gold wax, clear wax, um, and sandy blonde. So that's six layers of goodness but sometimes you have to do layer over layer over layer to make it good all i like right. all the detail on it and we got this little pedestal that's left this one is 19.95 this is um skeleton key and white wax on this and this is one of those ones we just pulled the pin out on and it was a big candlestick for like a pillar candlestick and now it's, I it's it could still be used that way yeah. but you know, I feel like it works for... I like it better as a little you pedestal. You set it by the door, you know, and drop your cup of keys in it. Every, every woman dreams of her husband coming home and dropping his crap on their decor. You, you know what? You put this on his nightstand and he'll put his keys on there. And then when his keys are gone because he's put some cute little animals off at work or whatever, then you can look at... You can have the nice pedestal. Zeb leaves his keys everywhere. That's why. I leave my keys like three places. <laughs> I think it turned out really good. I love skeleton key and white wax. All right, next up we have these corbel shelves. They are uh, like ceramic. They're sold individually, so you can you could buy the pair and use them like corbel. So we painted the back. They do have hanging hardware, so they could be used like a shelf. They're most they're supposed to be like this, but I I wanted to paint all the sides so that way if somebody wanted to use them like bookends, these would be really pretty bookends with a bunch of big antique books in there just because they make a statement. They're pretty wide. How wide would you say these are? Like um, close close to twelve, yeah. Yeah. And they're $49.95 each. They really had a, a decent paint job before, but I repainted them because I wanted to make the backs match so that if somebody wanted to use them as a corbel, they would have that option. Okay, so... And then the, the only thing painted that's left, and this, this is just from yesterday, we did these on Waste Not Wednesday, are these. So did you guys watch us do these? These are just old, 
East Lake drawers that were came from a dresser. The top was broken, and they've been sitting in the garage. Oh, how long? at least two, two, three months. January. A minute. Somewhere in there. <laughs> and so we, they've just been collecting dust, and we added knobs. So these people ask us if these were feet or knobs. These are actually just like wooden knobs that were salvaged off of another piece. In fact, I think we got them from DI, so they were yeah. secondhand. Zeb so drilled through the top, screwed the feet in, and then he decoupaged some of the paper that's going to be coming out Friday. These were misprints because we printed them on the wrong side, so we wanted to use them for Waste Not Wednesday, and then stenciled on the side. So all these techniques. Yeah, that we, comes out tomorrow, so watch for the video tomorrow. We're going to be showing all the new papers tomorrow morning. That'll be out, and all the designs, and we're going to use several of them. I'm excited. Um, and these were $42.95. So a little sneaky peeky on what you can expect tomorrow. Stay tuned because after we're done showing you all this stuff, the next step is to stage it in the shop. So that's always fun, a little shop tour staging situation. Um, let's show them. Let's show them the sale real quick. Oh, you want to show them the sale? And then we can show them what's new. But I already have the link ready for the new. Okay, let's go new. Then. Yeah, we got to go let's north. Let's do the new. Caitlin's at a dentist appointment, so I'm dropping my own link. So if you ever see me looking down at my phone, typing, that's what I'm doing. All right, so I'm gonna drop the new to JRV collection. Some of the stuff is not new, it's just restock. It's been super popular and I wanna let you guys know that it's here, so. We can, this can be the one that we put on the mannequin in a minute. Yeah, we're gonna display that one. So these sold out before we even really had the opportunity to show them to you guys. And then they were out of stock and they just came back in stock with the manufacturer. And so we scooped up a bunch of them. They are chambray aprons, and they're, they have the crisscross back. I think Zeb's going to show you. I was looking at it, and I'm like, maybe I'm not the best person to figure out how to put this on. Yeah, you just put your head through this hole. Yeah, and oh, right. I got it. I got, the pro I got the program now. So can you do it? Yeah. I like it because you don't have to tie it. Sometimes aprons have to be tied. Done. It's, and it's like, got a little pocket. It's like diving into a nightgown. It's got a pocket and a ruffle, and oh, it's got like snap. this. Snap. Oh, that's cute. That's real. <laughs> that's real. Let me fix it. <laughs> I feel like you're the perfect model because you show that it fits all sizes. It's a pocket right here. Love that. 225.62, and it's still working for the man with a ruffle. You can wear that until. It almost, if it was a little longer, I mean, get dress. this in the right tartan, and I could be kilt, kilt esque. Do we need to find out your official plaid I'm, and start carrying have, tartan aprons here? I know what the bare tartan looks like. And then you can get your little sewing machine out and sew them because I'm not that kind of white. My mom's a bear. So, you know, just so you know. We got to get, we keep going to the UK and we've yet to get to Scotland. Hey, we, there's a Harrington Castle, which is my family. We ain't never been there either. We're, we're really slacking. We're going to have to work on that. <laughs> All right, these guys. Are great. They're, re they're actually really soft. I thought it was going to be like kind of stiff and coarse, but it's, it's like a really soft fabric. If you've been waiting for these aprons, they are restocked. They are. Um, Did we show them the back? $32.95. There, it's crisscross. If you're from my time period, you know the song. Crisscross will make you jump, jump. That's really dating me. Uh, anyways, $32.95 for those chambray aprons. And we will put this one on the mannequin here in a little bit. We have restocked. Here's another. It's in the new to JRV collection because these just came out. Um, we sold out of the large bunnies. And I had a customer that absolutely wanted one, so I ordered another round. They look kind of like a chocolate bunny, but they're resin, so they're calorie-free. Please don't try to eat them. $9.95. <laughs> calorie-free chocolate bunnies. <laughs> That's the ticket right there. You <laughs> just don't eat them. Leslie says, fits all sizes and even Zeb looks great. And uh, somebody was saying you could stencil them. Absolutely. So we actually have something coming up that's on sale that would be perfect for stenciling. And we do carry some totes and things that um, you can buy plain and then stencil on them. So I was actually thinking, I'm going to give these a little bit because I know that a lot of people were waiting on them. But what, if we have a few left over, I might pull them for How the shop. How many did you get? Because if, if you didn't get 20, we're probably not going to have any left I think I got over. nine. Oh, well, those might be gone before the but, video's over. Because <laughs> Maria was saying it would be cute because we had the little Jamie Ray Vintage stencil. We, she could wear it when oh. she's working. Yeah. So that's why, because the first time I only ordered four and that was not enough. I don't know how much the people want, so I try to be conservative. Okay. I just reorder. Did you show them the little cows yet? Nope, they're coming. So this is actually new. These are the re these are like the reason I restocked because I needed a new animal. Look at the cow. 
Look how cute this is, Full also in the down. new to JRV collection. It's a Holstein. We couldn't find jerseys, which are near and dear to our heart because we have a jersey cow, but the Holsteins, they give a lot of milk. Like, they, the milk's not as creamy as jerseys, but these are like the dairy cow workhorses. Zeb, you could tell them about Holsteins more than I could. Oh, I just I know. know they give a lot of milk. How many milk, gallons of milk did it they It depends on your cow. You can get seven, eight gallons. They're big. They're Seven to eight gallons. You know how much we get from Buttercup? Like a commercial Two. dairy is going to milk a Holstein cow like three times a day. Really? Yeah. I thought they only did twice a day. No, some of them are they're doing three times a day because they're producing that much milk. That fill is up. crazy. I just think they're cute. So Depends on what you feed them and how hard you push them, but they can give a lot of milk. I love a little vignette with like some books and a candlestick and maybe some flowers with a little farm animal in front of it. At home, we have a few sheep. And they're my favorite thing to stage with. So anytime I find these little resin animals, especially at a good price, $6.95, I pick them up. And it, it looks like metal, but it's resin. So, all right. The next thing up is another restock. I actually never showed these on a live video, I don't believe. I forgot. I just did them in a story. Um, these are cute. So there's a little caddy. And inside the caddy is a little salt and pepper shaker. You guys, it's wavy glass. It's new but it looks like an antique Mason bottle. It says Mason patent, November 30th, 1858. It's got a thick bottom and the glass is green and wavy. It's good. Like obviously not an old salt and pepper shaker, but they did a solid effort. And the green is as almost like a jadeite green. Yeah, as far as repops go, this is one of the better ones I've seen. They made a solid effort. And I love the little caddy, it's galvanized. It looks like little soup cans, and then they have a little wooden handle. I feel like we need a caddy. Thirty-one ninety-five. You get the caddy and the salt and pepper. What'd you say? Our salt and pepper shakers are always on a walkabout. Like I'm like, where? Who, who took the salt I and know. pepper? Where's it at? Well, I was gonna take one of these home last time, but then they all sold, which is a good problem to have. So I ordered six more this time, and those are also in the new to JRV collection. All right, and then um, we have. You want Amy asked if the yellow was in the shop. We actually just showed these. These are the only yellow the thing yellow that sold. didn't sell. Everything else was sold, and they are $39.95 for this set of candlesticks. Everything else yellow sold. So I will be doing more yellow in next week's because I like to... It's very spring, though. It's like a really good spring vibe. You pair it with pinks or yeah. like blues, and it looks really awesome. Well, I like to have a evenly dispersed amount of color in the shop, right? Like, I don't want to have too much of one color. So whatever sells, then I paint more in that color, and then put it around. I'm gonna grab these because I think that's okay, everything. Okay, that's everything for the new to JRV that has been restocked. Zeb's gonna show you the sale item. I will grab the link for the sale we item. We do have these totes. We've shown these before, but I feel like it's been a couple years. Yeah, it's been a hot Since we've shown minute. these and this is what's left. They were just, they weren't even out on display on the floor. They were up in a box. They have been on the website, but these are, these are like messenger bags made out of old, um, you know, like when you go to the post office and they got those big crates that they're putting the, those, those carts that they're putting the, uh, the packages and stuff in, they, they're lined with a bag. These are those bags. Um, and some and of them- And they're very rustic made. I'm gonna tell you, if you're a master seamstress, that's not what these are. Well, and they left them with these frayed edges. They do have a little hem around all the edges, so they won't continue to fray, but they'll get, They'll get like a real fun little fringe here. And then there. You, once you use it for a week or two, you could probably trim it to however you want it. You know what I would do if I had a problem? I just hot glue it. So these are these would be really perfect to stencil because they're like pretty much a blank Yeah, canvas. like an old, I personally think the post is, we have a French stencil that's on that um, big basket there, the post is France. Yeah. That's the French oh, yeah. label for their post office, like US mails for here. I think that would be great stencil. Oh, and okay. it, it does have a little pocket on the front. The flap goes over that. If you don't feel good about that, there's another pocket inside. Probably. Well, they're all different. So they do have the pockets though. They all have the pockets. Did you check? Yep. Zeb One pocket was pocket. sewn upside down. I took that out of stock. <laughs> <laughs> we told you they was rustic. It was like some home ex class. I don't know. I have a, a company that I buy a lot of like antiques from. They buy them bulk salvage. And so sometimes I get some real interesting stuff, but these are really fun. We have one of the white ones left and seven of the red Rust. or maroon Do rust Do all of color. the rusty ones have the grommets in the handle? No, not all of them, but a well, actually, yes, all of them do. Look how cool this part is. So I love this. I love the tan because it's fun, but I also love this because of the, the grommets that it has in it. And we actually 
have an old mail cart with a liner at our house that I haven't figured out what it's I'm going to do with. I might use it. Actually, the cart's outside in the rain because we ran out of room in the basement and I, the, the tote, the fabric part is in the basement. you think I could plant in it? No. No. Are you saying that because I can't or because you don't want me to? The second one. We'll see what happens this spring. The yard's Anyways, got enough stuff in it. Super cute. <laughs> I just dropped the link for these and then I'm going to drop the link to the entire sale collection because we still have some items that are on sale and um, we're, we're ready to do a rock about. Do you want to do the brass candlestick oh, display first? Yeah, we didn't. We, so we got some of these. We got them from the Kobe flea market a couple weeks ago. It's already been like two weeks. We've sold a few. Yeah, we had, I think we had close to 20 of them. Yeah. And we've got 13 left, I think. But let's, uh, real quick, let's go get this mannequin dressed with the apron. Oh, okay. And then we'll uh, you show You know, them. you always give me a hard time about how worn she is on her top part. And I saw somebody else, that's just what happens to those mannequins. That's because it's where all the needles get poked in. <laughs> all right, let's go do this display. There's, that's. There's the tag. Yep. We're gonna have to find something new to put in that corner. That piece sold. Yeah. It's getting that picked up next week. Up next week. I'm just gonna put these over here. Whenever we put something on display, we like to put the actual item that people can buy close to it, so it makes sense. Do you want to just? What we could do is no, we I'm could. Just gonna put them right here for right now. Oh, you're gonna put them up there? Okay. No, Honestly, right they're probably all gonna ship out today. Yeah, so. I'm just gonna put them all right here, and then I'll let you dress the lady. Oh me. Yeah. I gotta figure that out again. I think once you do it a time or two, it would be really easy. You need to learn. All right. All right, Zeb's gonna dress our mannequin, and then we've got them on display. If buyers are confused, you lose. So you have to, if you have something on display, you should have multiples of it close by if there are a lot. So like in this case, I'm gonna put the apron on the mannequin, and then if somebody wants to buy one, we've got them all stacked up right there. Well, neatly. she doesn't have arms, so this is gonna be easy. And then let's put the price tag and I was the ribbon just, in her pocket. I was, yeah, I was, she's got the pocket here. Let me scooch these over a little. Those are in my way. The chair. They're crowding, they're crowding the thing. Yeah, this magazine piece sold, and then we'll show you the mint dresser that we just finished. I was going to stage it all up, but it also sold, so I just have it in the shop. So it can be picked up, not oh, this weekend. Oh, no, the time. chickens spotted me. They think you got they treats. They know I am the bringer of treats. We, our chickens are literally just right out this window. Hi, girls. It's wet. Get in your house. No, they hang out in the rain. They're actually pretty clean, and they stay mostly dry. All they right, got, there we go. They got a ton of winter feathers. Should I tie? I'm going to tie the tag. I would tie it around this. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. There we go. Oops. I'm not very good at this. All right, let's see if Jamie can tie it up on there. Let's see if I can tie a tag. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, the string is not very long. Oh, 237 people joining us right now. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out with us this morning, guys. Okay. There we go. So that way they can easily see the price and then you pick one up over there. All right, let's do those candlesticks next. Okay. I'm excited about those. So this piece also sold. Same person got these two pieces. They have impeccable taste. You know where you want to put those? We'll put my phone down. Can you grab all of those at once? I want to do them over here. You're going to put them in this front display? Yeah, I'm going to move these front and center because I thought if people were coming in the shop and wanted to buy the candlesticks, then I would carry the candles by the candlesticks. So I'm going to fill this all up around here and then they could kind of drip over this way. That's what I'm thinking. Laura said, so the purses would be down in the bottom of the sale collection, but I can drop the link. Do you want to put the other ones here? Yeah. Just for the purses. Because they organize the new to old, and we've had these for a long time. Yeah, they're not a new product. But they are in there, but I'll go ahead and drop the link too. So the white one just sold. We have just the rust ones. The rust ones are all that's available? Yeah. I think the rest of ones are actually cooler because I like the the grommets in the strap. In the strap. All right, Laura, I just dropped the link to the bags. All right, what do you think? I think that's fun. Should we put some in here? Oh, you could. 
Or will the Maybe just do three right there. Maybe without melting the bottom, they might not stand good. Oh, they're okay. There you go. I think that's fun. What do you guys think? I always like to do stuff like this because then it's kind of a, not necessarily an upsell, but if people like the candlesticks and then they see these, they would buy like together. Like if things make sense together, it's always really good. Okay, we need to figure out where we're going to put those two green trays. I'm going to go grab them. I haven't even thought about where I wanted them. Usually I know ahead of time. They need to be somewhere where you can see like inside of them. I might put them over here. Do we want to put them up front or do we want to put them back? No, I think I'm going to put them right here. These are the ones she's talking about. We did get this old wood did bleed through a little. We probably should have used some salvation solution, but honestly, I feel like it just adds to the look. And look at how flat that, even, even with me, this is a misprint. I did them on the wrong side. They still, like I didn't iron this or do anything and it laid down super flat. No, I like the patina that happened from the bleed through or I would have fixed it. Okay. I'm here for that. Sorry, that's very close to my face. All right, I have to see you right here. Oh, just right here? We just kind of, they're both the same. So we can stack. Like that. Just do a little bit of stack. What do you think? Maybe just tee them up since they're... Tee them up? No, 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 that's fine. Is that good? That looks good. Do we want what do you guys think? Do you like that? Because I want people to be able to see that they're stenciled and that they're decoupaged, but also the front and the fact that they have feet. So I feel like this kind of displays all those things. All right, next up we have the Holstein cows need. Do they need a, a little spot. place? Do you need to put the rest of those bunnies back? Yeah, I'll put over the rest here? of the bunnies because we've sold so many of them. We can find a spot for the cows there too. You think the cows can go? Cows and the bunnies? We could put the cows down here by your foliage and it's going to look like a little scene around a train track. Like that's like a hedge. Um, sure. The 12 year old. I feel like actually probably more like the five year old. I feel like you like, have a future in visual display. I feel like online you can't tell how much bigger they are, but like this is the small one and this is the big one. There is a pretty big variance in the size. Oh my goodness, it's snowing, Jamie. It's, don't tell me it's snowing. It was raining and now it's snow. Uh, snow's real cute, but it has its time and its time has passed. Oh my goodness, these are like, these could be like big grain silos back here. Are you and creating it? I got a whole scene going on, a situation. I like it. I'm just gonna stack these <laughs> up like this. You know every little kid's gonna come in here and pocket one of these, right? No. Does it remind you of when you used to play, like, set up your army men? Yes. You guys see what Zeb's got going on down there? There we go. I think that looks good. We've got some bunnies there. I actually don't <laughs> love the bunnies in this. I don't know why. I think I'm gonna... Oh, there we go. We're gonna go flying. There we go. We'll put two bunnies in here and two bunnies in here. Look at it. <laughs> definitely tell that a man organized look it's totally totally like my you know it's we like got a dairy farm and here's the dairy bucket because yeah they, they got their milk. they got their, their flower logo back there you know on the on their grain silo <laughs> i can't with you right now all right next up these bunnies are checking it out you know the oversized giant bunnies Um, I don't really see anywhere obvious that we could put those. We just have this. I just feel like we need some yellow. That one was around the Let's corner Let's put that somewhere here. else. Let's put the yellow here. Because I had it in a pretty good spot before. I think Let's I'm going to put it back. Two. So I want to okay. add yellow. Can you hold that? The cows are $6.95, Lori. They're in, if you go to jamierayvintage.com, they're in the new to JRV collection. I'm just going to hold stuff while you Thanks. find where you want it. See the yellow and the pink and the, the blue shades, it goes good. Just okay. a pop of yellow, you don't want to overwhelm, you don't want too much. No, I think that's good. So I need to find a spot. We'll just put these on the front table. We can deal with these later. All right, this, I think I'm just gonna bring it back where, cause I had it over here. Oh, that was a really good spot. She just, she just had it right here. She also, let's put these in the window too. 
Whoops, I was shaking the camera all crazy. Sorry, Maybe guys. Maybe when we're done, we can put the other little pedestal things on this too, so it's all together. And then we need to put these, uh, these will go over here. We put all of our salt and pepper shakers. Yeah, we, we have a lot of space. We're waiting for a restock. The factory was on back order on a lot of our jadeite. Yeah, actually that reminds me. I'm going to email them. Maybe I should just put these here. Yeah, that's what just scooch them over a little. Yeah, I, I like the green together. I think it's cute. So I'll just... And it's a little bit different shade of green, but it's not off-putting. Oh, it's cute. It's a little neat. I like how nice and neat and lined up. Well, as neat and lined up as my brain does, which is not very neat. You always want to make your displays look full, even if they're not. So, like, sometimes we'll have stuff all the way to the back, but as it sells, we pull it forward. So, like... how much better that looks to have that pulled forward so if you have a booth or a store make sure that you are not leaving stuff in the back because especially eye level like that's like super important people can see it we have to be really careful not to put stuff right on the edge because the floor is a little bit loose over here so we I, have know, some I gotta get under there and fix that all right we just need to put this somewhere don't you think that looks good Oh, did one of my baskets sell or did we put it somewhere else? Um, the other basket is up there. Oh. So we just need to find somewhere to put our cute little... Um, I don't know, it's here. looking pretty full up here. I don't think it needs to go there. We just need to find a place. Do you think... Uh, no, that blocks, that blocks other things. Yeah. What so about here? Do we have any, like, nails? It'd be really nice if we could just... Oh, it has a little hook. Where can we hang this? Oh! Well, right on here. the front. Well, we had. Oh, is it high enough? I think that's okay. I think that's all right. We had that piece that was here that sold, so. Oh, well, it's okay for now. Yeah, I feel like that's <laughs> good. I always like it when I can put something somewhere, or we can put it over there. But is it too small? I think for it's that too space? small. I'll get something else. No, I feel like the color scheme works. I gotta print up something big for that gold frame today. Okay, that's happening like when we get home. There you go. Now it's not like mushed. Okay, done. Because we had something here and it sold. Perfect. Our work here is done. I think, I think we're ready to go do more work at home now. Oh yes, we need to get our video filmed for tomorrow. Let me just double check and see if there are any questions I missed while I was playing house here. <laughs> I set up my little farm scene. Um, no, I think we're good, no more questions. Um, if you guys want to shop along, jamierayvintage.com. If you have any questions, though, you can always email info at jamierayvintage.com. Jamie is J-A-M-I. I always like to say that because easily misspelled. Yeah. Or DM us on Facebook or comment below, and we'll try to drop links if you need them. But what were you going to say? Oh, I was just going to say paper release tomorrow. We'll have a video out in the morning. Um, watch for the retailers. I'm sure some of them will be doing videos as well. And should be great. We're excited about it. Got some really fun projects that we want to do with them. And uh, excited to see what you guys do as well. And if you guys did not already know, we dropped a video last night of our thrifting for the week. We took you along with us, not just to our regular thrift store, but we went to Salt Lake to a couple of thrift stores. Yep. Um, and that's all in the video. If you guys haven't seen that, check that out. Um, because that is going to be our little preview to this week's thrift haul. Literally so. the difference between early morning thrift store shopping and mid-afternoon yeah, thrift store shopping. Yeah, they weren't super full. It took us a few thrift stores, but we did find some fun stuff. All right, catch you guys later. All right, if you like this video, be, heard, be sure to hit share, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Bye, guys.